Thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. Just last week, a new Miss Idaho USA and Miss Idaho Teen USA 2023 were crowned, and we're lucky enough to have both title holders with us here today. So we have Hannah Mensner, and she's actually joining us via Zoom. You're going to see her right here over our studio. Hi, Hannah. Can you see, can you hear us? Yes. Yes, right. I can. Excellent. And here in studio, we also have Angelina Ryan. Congratulations to you both. Super exciting. Now, we're going to go ahead and start with Angelina really quick. Tell us about your moment when you were crowned. How excited were you when they called out your name? It felt like such a sigh of just relief and content. I had been working for that for over four years now. Oh, wow. And it, it was such an amazing feeling, truly like a once in a lifetime feeling. And I, watching the videos back, you just relive it all over again. And it's just so nice. Okay, so a big moment for you. And Hannah, I know you are a former Miss Idaho teen, right? So this is yes. kind of a process that you're somewhat familiar with, but it must have been really exciting though to hear your name called as Miss Idaho USA. Tell us about that. Yes. Uh, well, I, I won Miss Idaho Teen USA about eight or nine years ago, and it felt exactly the same. You're just hit with this overwhelming sense of joy. And I've competed for Miss Idaho USA a few times, so and have come really close. So to finally kind of get it in my last year of eligibility has been um, really, really life changing and, and such an exciting moment for me. Great. And, and two, now you guys are both going to be working together going forward uh, with your year in rain. So Angelina, what are you looking forward to the most? I plan on focusing on Idaho's future a lot this year. So making a lot of appearances at elementary schools and getting to really talk with kids, especially working with the St. Luke's Children's Hospital a lot. Mm -hmm. That's something that I'm super excited for. Excellent. And then what about you, Hannah? What are you looking forward to now as Miss Idaho USA? <laughs> Well, my personal platform and cause that I care about is suicide prevention education in Idaho. I started my initiative project, Idaho, um, that aims to teach Idahoans about how to spot the warning signs for suicide. So I've established partnerships with the Speedy Foundation and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I'm really looking forward to partnering with them this year to put on some education programs and get out in the Idaho community to fight the stigma against mental health. All right, and such a, you know, a timely topic as well too. Uh, mental health really was brought forward during the pandemic. Always has been a really important topic and an issue, but I think really a spotlight was put on it during that time when we were all dealing with such major stressors. So um, I think that's great, Hannah, that you're really taking the time to focus even further on that. Uh, and also too, Hannah, this is a really unique year and an unprecedented year for Miss Idaho USA, the USA system in itself, because this is the first year that they've kind of changed the rules. They've opened it up to allow uh, certain women who other otherwise might not have been able to compete before. How do you feel about that? Yes, so this was the first pageant where women who have been married or have children could compete for the title of Miss Idaho USA and then Miss USA and Miss Universe. So it's a huge rule change that just went into effect. And I think it's great. It means that more women can compete and participate in this organization that has truly changed my life in the past nine years that I've been involved. For example, at the, our pageant in Idaho, we had a woman who had been divorced for the very first time and she wouldn't have been allowed to compete with the old rules. So I'm so excited she got to participate and now has the chance to pursue the title as well. Great. And then two, I mean, there's a lot that goes into this. You know, Hannah, you had mentioned the past nine years. This has been something that you've been involved in. Uh, Angelina, you had mentioned four years you've been working right. to have this opportunity to be a title holder and to be a positive role model here in our community. All while doing this, though, you're both juggling school, right? So it's, it's not 100% every day that you're able to dedicate to this because you're human beings and you have lives. Hannah, that's why you're joining us via Zoom, right? Aren't you at school right now? Yes, I just got back from statistics class this morning, so <laughs> I'm, I'm doing everything I can to kind of juggle it all. Yes, and Angelina, how do you how do you manage your time schedule between your personal commitments and also what is required of you to be a title holder? Our pageant directors do a really good job of making our appearances strictly weekends, and unlike today, I'm able to get most of my stuff done outside of school, after school, in the afternoon, as far as um, in social media and everything. Yeah. It's super easy to balance. Our program directors are so helpful and so sweet. 
Great. So you guys have a really great support system then right. that allows yes. you to be successful in both arenas, right? Right. And we greatly appreciate you taking the time, though. I know that it's the middle of a week, so we appreciate the concession to come out here and join us. And Hannah, to squeeze it in in your busy school schedule today, <laughs> statistics, I hope you focused and you did well on whatever your lesson was, because I know that sometimes when you know that you've got a media event coming up, your mind's thinking a little forward, right? You're, you're like, oh, I got to prep mm -hmm. and plan for that. So I hope we didn't impact your learning today. All right, ladies, though, so you have a lot ahead of you, a big year coming up. If people want to follow you and see all the amazing things that you're up to, what can they do? Angelina, let's start with you. You tell us how we can follow you. We have a social media. It's called Miss Idaho Teen USA, and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, also TikTok, all sorts of platforms. We have the same, I think Hannah is Miss Idaho USA, and that's how you can follow her. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then Hannah, is yes. there anything else in addition you want to add to that? Yeah, just give us a follow on Instagram at Miss ID USA and on Twitter. I will be at the Treasure Valley Out of the Darkness Walk on October 8th um, for to promote suicide prevention. So would love to meet as many people there as I can. Wonderful. And Angelina, do you have anything else coming up too that you want people to join you at? I will be at the Miss Teen USA pageant the first week of October, which will be super exciting. There'll be a lot of faces there if you are watching it on the TV. That'd Yay! Be super exciting. You got your national pageant coming up in a matter of days then. I am just attending it. Oh, you're attending. I will be okay. I will be competing in about a year. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. So you still have time ahead of you. I, I got nervous for you for a moment. I'm like, you just won! <laughs> and now you're going to nationals. Where's the prep? Okay. Yeah. You get to go and observe. Right. So good. This is a data seeking mission. <laughs> I love that. All right. So it's further preparation so then we can cheer you on in about a year. Yes. Both of you, congratulations. Thank you so much. And we look so forward to a very bright year for both of you.